again and welcome to day three of Project Puppet. So far we've created puppets, we've started to think about them as characters, and now it's time to bring them on a journey and start to think about the story of your puppet play. Today we're going to give you some questions to think about and make some suggestions to help you come up with that story. But before we do that, I'd like everyone to just take a moment to think about your special person or people. Is there something that you want to say to them in your play? Or maybe you want the play to be about them? Or perhaps you just want to come up with a funny story to cheer them up and make them smile. It's completely up to you. But this will also help you to decide, is it going to be a funny story or a serious story? Or maybe a bit of both? Hello. So I hope you had lots of fun in the last video creating your characters. And now we're going to be thinking a little bit more about story. So, if we think about all of the stories that we love, usually what makes them interesting or exciting is where the story takes place. So, where is it set? It can be really fun to dream up and imagine all the possibilities in the world where your story could happen, and then to start to think about the little details of that place. So, it could be an ancient school of magic for witches and wizards, or your story could take place under the sea, or in space, or in a jungle, or maybe it takes place in a little village surrounded by fields full of wild animals, or in a bedroom, or maybe your story takes place exactly where you live. So when you've had a little bit of a think, where does my story take place? I want you to close your eyes and start to imagine that place. What does it look like? What are the colours in that place? Is it a dark place or is it bright? Is it inside or outside? Who else might live in this place? Are there any weird smells in this place or funny sounds? All of these little details will help you write a place that we, the audience, can start to imagine with you. So, and if it's helpful, you might like to take out a piece of paper and start to draw a picture or a map of this place where you're hoping your story will take place. But if you'd rather, you can just let it live in your imagination. Brilliant. So now you should have a really good sense of the place that your play is set. So now we're going to start to think about the story that's going to happen there. All good stories have three things, a beginning, a middle and an end. So firstly, what happens at the very beginning to start your story off and to introduce us to the characters? Then the middle. This is often where the really exciting stuff happens. What's the big thing that you want to happen in your play? This usually happens in the middle. And finally, the ending. What's the thing that's going to happen after the big thing has happened to finish off the story? And remember, the ending is very important because otherwise your play could go on forever. So now I want you to take a moment and as Fanula asked you to, I want you to imagine the place that your puppet play is set. And now I want you to imagine your character or characters in that place and start to think about some of the things that could happen to them to create that story. In the last video, we talked about personality traits that your character could have. So are they excited all the time? <laughs> like me? like Alfred, or maybe they're really grumpy, or maybe they're a little bit shy, like Charlie. Thinking about these personality types, they can help you write your story. And other things you might like to think about, what does your character like to do? What do they hate doing? Do they have any secrets? And what are they afraid of? Something that can make a really exciting story is thinking about your character and a problem that they might have. And during the story, trying to figure out how they might solve this problem. So have a think about your character, the character that you've created. Can you think about a problem that they might have and how they might solve it? What's different about this day than any other day? Do they go on an adventure? Does your character change from the beginning of your story 
to the end. These are just all little things to help you start thinking about your story. And like Maisie said, remember, try to think of a beginning, a middle and an end. Now the next thing that I'd like you to do is decide who the main character in your story is going to be and take a look back at the character chart that you created for them in the last video. Here's mine for Mr Tickles. And that will just help to remind you of the type of character that you created. Things like... <laughs> I suppose I'm a little bit clumsy. <laughs> and I like attention. Baby shark, do 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 baby shark, do 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 baby shark, do 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 baby shark. All of these qualities and facts that you came up with in the last video will really help as the building blocks of your story. What's your character's name? Where do they live? How old are they? What do they like and dislike? What are they scared of? What's their wish? Do they have any secrets? What type of character are they? For example, if they're a very shy character, maybe they're summoned to meet the king of the village and in order to do this they have to overcome their shyness. Maybe another character comes along to help them to do this. If you've made several puppets and want to have a few characters in your puppet play, think about how these other characters might come into the story that you're creating. So you have your character and you have your location. And the next thing now is to start thinking about the story itself. Before you launch into this with your puppet, it might be an idea to write it down first as a short story, or if there's someone at home who could help you, maybe they could write it for you or you could do it together. If you really don't like writing, you could also do it as a comic strip where you draw out the journey of your character and what happens in your story. Have a think back over some of the questions we asked you earlier. What is the main thing or event that you want to happen in your story? What adventure or quest do you want your character to go on? What problem do you want your character to solve? Or what do you want your character to learn? What happens at the beginning? What happens in the middle? And what happens at the end? We know that all of you are brilliant at telling stories, but if you are feeling a little bit stuck, here are a few ideas to help you get started. Once upon a time, it was a day like no other. Another way you could start your story that introduces your character and your location straight away is something like in a faraway land called, whatever you've decided to call your place, there lived a, so a jellyfish or a robot or a shy little boy. And then we're into your story. But there's loads of ways and it's up to you how you decide to start your story. But those are a few suggestions. And in the middle, what is that thing or event that happens? Maybe your character gets lost and needs to find their way home. Maybe they meet a strange character they've never met before. Or they might discover they have special powers they never realised they had. Or maybe your puppet simply wants to send a message to your special person or people just from you. Don't forget to come up with an ending for your play. Endings are really important. So does your character learn something? Do they get what they want? Or is there a big surprise at the end that no one was expecting? When you're writing the ending of your play, you might like to think about your special person, the person you're making this play for, and have a think about the feeling that you want to give them at the end of the play. So is it a happy ending or a sad ending or is it a funny ending? The choices are all yours and it completely depends on the character that you've created and the special person who you're making this play for. But I know they're going to love it whatever choices you make. So have fun coming up with story ideas for your puppet play. And tomorrow we're going to talk about how to bring those stories and characters to life. 
With your story, you can be as mad and as adventurous and magical as you want. There are no bad ideas. The most important thing is to have a nice time while doing it. And we are really excited to see the brilliant stories that you all come up with. And we know that the people who you're making them for are going to find them really special as well. Good luck.